it was a real thrill, a real career highlight for us. You know, we were already, you know, had been a band for quite a while. And, you know, I, I think at that point in our careers, we were just able to enjoy the day and not be so concerned about, well, what's this going to do for our career? Mm -hmm. um, and, and just enjoy the moment. You know, we had our wives and our girlfriends there and, and they record the show at five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and, uh, so, you know, you once you're done, you load out and then it's, you know, it's, it's eight or nine o'clock and we all went and had some dinner and, and, uh, found a little bar in Midtown and told the manager, Hey man, we're going to be on Letterman at 1130. Would you put it on the big TV? <laughs> he was really cool about it. And he said, yeah. So, you know, when, when our time came, uh, we, we all had a shot and, uh, sort of toasted one another and, uh, you know, just certainly one of the high points of the band's career and, and, and everybody there. And one of the things I recall from that was everybody was super nice. You know, we, we weren't obviously the biggest band in the world and, and they could have just been like, okay, who, who are these guys from Pittsburgh? Uh, but Paul Schaefer was just, couldn't have, couldn't have been nicer. He went out of his way to make us feel welcome and talk to us about music and, and, and the gear that we were using. And, and Dave was real nice, came over uh, after our, our song and shook our hands and, and uh, I'll never forget Farrah Fawcett was the guest that that show. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I wore a, a Farrah Fawcett T-shirt with the iconic poster on it. And um, when we were done, he came over and shook my hand and sort of whispered in my ear, nice shirt. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, man, it just doesn't get better than this. 